friends, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 4. It's Day 4 already. I mean, I'm so excited. I am so appreciative of all the love you have been giving Vlogmas, from the sharing of all the things to giving the videos a thumbs up. They really do help. I know it seems like such a little thing, but it helps a lot. I just appreciate you all so much, and I am having an absolute blast, but it is a little after six. I've been up since about 4.45. I went to bed. I literally posted last night's video at like 7.30 and then was sound asleep and then woke up around four. I can't remember what it was. Was it 4.30ish, 4.45? I woke up and kind of just like scrolled and then came downstairs and actually this is probably the best my hair has ever looked after waking up. It's usually all over the place, you guys know. I am just doing some laundry. I'm waiting for it to finish so I can throw it in the dryer and that's it. I'm listening to Kelly Clarkson's Christmas album. I want to relive our live event the other night on Vlogmas Day 1 where we all watched it together. It was so much fun. I cannot wait till next week when we have our another live little get together. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. Um, I'll make some coffee. Steven and Bubba's are still asleep. I have a nail appointment at two and I don't know what else we're gonna get into. Oh my goodness. So some of my swag order came in and I want you guys to see it. They actually ship really quick. They're so easy to work with, but here's the happy holidays. Be merry and kind. I love it. I love it on the red. And then this is the be merry, jolly and kind. I love it on a black long sleeve tee. I also got it on a sweatshirt. I have another design that I ordered in two batches by accident. It was my fault. Yes, I ordered my own swag because Threadless just does the designs and everything. So I like paid for these myself, but I absolutely love it. I'm so happy. They are all linked below. You can go check them out. I love it. I love it so much. This one's so good. They're all so good, but I really love this on the red. All right, Steven is making lunch. Actually, I'm throwing bread out that's moldy. So the second time I throw something out that's been moldy today. Hmm. We need to... You're moldy. <laughs> I'm moldy because I'm so old. Look what I figured out before Vlogmas, and that is a car mount. If you've watched a couple vlogs previously, it was something I was talking about trying to figure out, and I finally have the right camera with the right mount that makes it perfect. So I'm using the Osmo DJI uh, action, and it's a little magnet that actually is right at the top of my windshield, so it might look like I'm looking at the camera, but it's just because the camera is mounted at the very top of my windshield, which is amazing. I have no clue what this footage will end up looking like or sounding like. I hope it's smooth, but we will find out when we go to edit. I hope you can see my snowflakes in the daylight on my roof. I absolutely love that I kind of made the car festive for us. Have my little red seatbelt covers. I have my stockings hanging up in the back. It's a little festive Tesla vibe. A lot of you are asking me how I feel about our Tesla, if I like it. We've had it now June, July, August, September, October, November, December, about seven months. We love it. I have taken it on multiple trips to the Adirondacks. I took it to the Berkshires. I have no problem finding chargers. It is so quiet, such a nice ride. I thought I would miss the Apple CarPlay interface. I don't at all. Here's what I'm going to say. If you are not going to install charging at your house, I don't think it's a great option. We did have an electrician come and do the whole charging system. So we charge from home and then superchargers when we're traveling. So I feel if I had to go to a supercharger to charge my car, I would not want one. But the fact that we have the charging and I can wake up and have a full tank ready to go, it's amazing. I went and did my nail appointment. I went to Trader Joe's so I can make dinner for Steven tonight. And 
I also will introduce what we'll be doing every Saturday. Every Saturday, I'm going to highlight a small business. I wanted to film while I was there and I forgot my camera and I don't like recording on my phone, but I'm going to share them with you. They have an online presence so you can order stuff, but I'll show you that in a minute. So many of you are gonna ask about this beanie. I ordered it years ago and I can't remember who the company was. If I can figure it out, I'll link them below. But they use old Louis Vuitton bags. The nails are snow drifts, and I am kind of obsessed with them. But let me show you what I picked up. So the small business we're uh, celebrating this Saturday is Breathe at Home. I actually vlogged a shopping trip from them before, and I think my mom was with me. But I stopped by to pick up some things and I'll share it with you. I'll also link their site at home. Um, I'll also link their site below. So the first thing I picked up was this marble cheese tray, which I, and I just thought it was so stinking cute. I'm actually like, I'm hoping that it kind of fits there. I kind of just layer it there with that antique dough bowl. I just think it looks adorable. The other thing I picked up, and we'll mess with these during Vlogmas. Maybe we'll even do them for Friendmas. I got the soft pretzel kit and also an everything bagel kit. And you get to make them and it takes you through step by step. Then I picked up a new fragrance, something that I could layer, and this is Dirty Vanilla. I actually just bought the half ounce, the half fluid ounce, because I'm going to just use, or use it to layer, but it just has like a very, it's, there's no way to explain it. Their fragrances are just different. My favorites are Dirty Fig and Dirty Grass. Those are my two, I can't get it out. Those are my two favorites from them. But I went ahead and picked up Dirty Vanilla for the holiday season to use to layer over other scents. <laughs> I'm really struggling. Here it is. I also love how clean and simple their packaging is. So I picked that up and then I fell in love. And I bought two of these because they're neutral, but also sparkly. Look at these candle holders. <gasps> Aren't those stunning? So I bought two of those. This is just another one of those candle holders. And then I bought myself a new wine glass, which is just also hysterical, because it's like a teacup, but it's for wine. So I bought this little wine glass. I'm actually gonna clean this up so I can use it. I just thought it was adorable. So that's what I picked up there. And then at Trader Joe's, nothing too exciting. Got some tortilla chips, some cheese puffs, um, some sourdough bread, some eggs, this focaccia to bake off tonight, some San Marzano tomatoes. We're gonna make some tomato sauce and homemade meatballs. Uh, this is my favorite salsa from Trader Joe's, the salsa special. It's so good. And then some arugula, some avocado, some tomatoes, basil, some Parmesan cheese and some shallots, some just chicken, and then two packages of 99% lean um, turkey because I'm going to use those for my meatballs. Hi. Oh, say hello to everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi. Happy Vlogmas Day 4. Oh, say hi to everyone. Oh, say hi. You and Daddy are napping. You were napping with Daddy upstairs, I can tell. It's that time. It's that time. I get you. I said get you butt. I said get you butt. Scratchy, 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 scratchy. I loves you. I am going to show you one of my favorite salads to whip together. It is nothing new, but I think it is so good and so simple. And all I do is I take a bunch of great tomatoes and I just have all of those. I like to get the mixed color. I think they look a lot better. 
It's kind of like a caprese salad. I add some cucumbers though to it. I use the Persians and I just cut them down long ways. And then across. But yeah, I'm just gonna get these tomatoes chopped up. This is also like one of my favorite things um, to make for lunch. And then all you do to make it really great for like a whole lunch is I toast up a piece of bread and then just put this salad on top of it. Sometimes with a little arugula. All right, with these cucumbers, I'm probably going to use hmm, probably three of them. I'm just going to cut off the ends first and then do one slice down the middle and then just chop them. All right, I have my mozzarella drying. The reason you wanna make sure they're really nice and dry is once you salt the cucumbers and the tomatoes, they're gonna release liquid. So like the less extra liquid you start with, the better. Now, I always just give these one little chop in half. Get those added in. I'm just going to hit this with some olive oil. A decent amount, love a little olive oil. And then some balsamic. This balsamic is so thick and just delicious. And then I'm just going to give this a stir. Get all of that going together. I'm going to hit with just a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. Some fresh cracked pepper. Give it one more stir. I'm glad I made a big batch because this will also be part of my breakfast or lunch tomorrow on top of toast. I'm just going to seal this and throw it in the fridge to let all of that kind of come together. Please forgive my hair, I've had a hat on. But for my meatballs, I do, if I'm doing one package, I'll give you that recipe. I do one package of lean turkey and then a shallot, one egg, panko, some parmesan, some fresh basil chopped up because I like a little green in there. Um, but other than that, it's pretty simple and straightforward. Roll them up, bake them off in the oven. I do 20 minutes, flip them 20 minutes at 375, and then they're sometimes not cooked the whole way through, but I finish them in the sauce once it's made. So that's how I do it. And they're always delicious. Also, I'm wearing one of my shirts and I love it so much. Um, so I have olive oil going with the shallots. I'm gonna add garlic. I'm gonna add my uh, San Marzano. I'm just gonna crush them with a tomato masher, add some fresh basil, add some Parmesan, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and let it cook. That's it. It really is that simple. This isn't something I always add to my sauce, but I actually saved a rind from Parmesan from the Thanksgiving cheese tray. So I'm just going to add that and let that cook in with it. The seasonings I added was some oregano leaf, some crushed red pepper. I do add a pinch of sugar to cut down on the acidity, but that's my sauce. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit, give it a cover, and that's all. While dinner is going, let's go ahead and do our advent calendars for day four. I really, it's, it feels like we just started yesterday, but it's already day four. Day four of William Morris is a bubble bath that is the jasmine and green tea. Day four of rituals. I'm really excited to open one of the trees. Oh, day four is right here. Look how good the sample sizes are. This is an instant care hand lotion. That's amazing. After my manicure today, I could use some hand lotion. Day four of Beekman. We got a honey grapefruit goat milk lip balm. That just sounds perfect. Today's dog is Bruce. Oh my good, he's my favorite one so far. Bubby, do you wanna meet Bruce? Hey Bubby.
Do you want to meet Bruce? I'm not Bye bye. <gasps> Looky, it's Bruce. It's Bruce. Looky. This is Bruce. Say hello. Hi, I'm Bubba's. It's Bruce. Whatever. Do it. Okay. Your good friend. Pour some sugar on me. These are the gummy butterflies. They're so good. They are strawberry and I believe pineapple. Have a holly dolly Christmas. It's the best time of the year. I don't know what kind of candy that will be. But we'll save it. Oh, do, do, does it said smell good? All right, we are in our spice calendar. It is day four and we got Christmas salt. Salt with sesame spices, pink peppercorns. I am going to save that and use it on some popcorn. Hey, Daniel's tea. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're doing the, he's doing the dishes since I cooked. And he's boiling the noodles for us. Yes. Um, do, go ahead and do Daniel's tea. Uh, Daniel's tea, um, three, right? Or no, no four. it's four. Wow. It's going quickly. It is. Ooh, looks like chocolate. Um, Alexa, off. Dark chocolate orange. Look at you That's on the sort of money. Explanatory. You like orange chocolate? Yes. I love orange chocolate. I feel like today has been a pretty successful Vlogmas day, but it's also a disconnect from technology. So I am going to try to finish editing this and enjoy my evening and maybe even watch a movie and pour a glass of wine and just enjoy dinner and all of those things. So I'm gonna have Steven close us out with the saying we end every video with. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others, Life is free, use it wisely. I, I can't remember. It's been, it's been a year. Be kind to yourself, be kind to others. Uh, 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 kindness is free, spread it around. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Wait, no, See, no. doesn't even know. <laughs> take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, Bye bye